What's happening? Brian Tong here and the big leak right now is our best look at the Galaxy S20 Plus 5G and all new camera details, all new display details, thanks to Max Weinbach at XDA Developers. So check it out. Here it is in all its glory. These are the first real images we've seen and we get a clean look at the front of the S20 Plus with a screen on which confirms its name and really the S20 name for the entire 2020 Galaxy lineup plus its centered punch hole camera at the top. Now on the back side, we see its big beefy camera patch featuring four cameras and a flash and what's believed to be a microphone hole. Wineback says there is a volume rocker but no physical Bixby button on the S20 Plus and you've got to love the confidential unauthorized use is prohibited sticker because nothing is sacred anymore but let's just dig into the new camera features for the s20 plus and this is all major stuff again leaked from wine so we got to give them all the credit there's a total of six holes on the camera patch we have four sensors we can clearly see three on the left side that are likely the telephoto lens main lens and ultra wide lens on the right side there's a flash on top that remains the same from the s10 and note 10 there's also an unknown sensor that could be the rumored time of flight camera for 3D depth mapping for improved photo, video, and AR features, but it's not confirmed. And then we have a confirmed microphone hole that will be used to grab better audio and then work with the zoom in mic feature to focus on the audio of the subject you're zooming into with video. Now here's a deeper breakdown of all the cameras that will be on the S20 Plus that Wineback knows about. The main camera will be a 12 megapixel Sony IMX 555, which currently has not been released anywhere yet. The second camera is a 64 megapixel one, but there's been no confirmation what it's being specifically used for yet. Rumors believe that this is the camera with the 10X optical zoom or at least a 5X optical and then a 10X hybrid with digital zoom above 5X. There's also no confirmation if the rumored 108 megapixel camera is one of these as well, but that's believed to be for only the S20 Ultra, so it's no surprise that it doesn't show up here for the S20 Plus. Now we have 8K video recording at 30 frames per second. Video recording has been confirmed with no options for 24 frames per second just yet. We also have 4K video at 60 frames per second, and that has been confirmed with video stabilization for both the front and rear cameras. There's been no sign that either video resolutions will support native HDR video recording, even if the Snapdragon 865 or the Exynos 990C, depending on your region, both support that. A new intelligent feature called Smart Selfie Angle will detect how many people are in the frame and then switch to its wide angle mode on the selfie camera. So that indicates that the front facing camera is wide angle, but crops to a less wide shot when used normally. Samsung, they also have a similar system with the S10 and Note 10. A new mode called single take photo will ask you to pan around a subject and environment while it automatically takes pictures and video and then it recommends a few options it believes is the best shot. This isn't something that I would use but you know maybe it's good for some people. There's also another mode called pro video mode that crashed when they tried to use it on the model. It's believed to let you control and set specific features like ISO or resolution. Maybe that's where we could see the 24 frames per second video option if it's buried in there somewhere maybe. A rumored video mode not found here though is director's view and the idea behind that is that the phone will be able to record video out of multiple lenses at the same time while tracking a subject. So think about this, you could tap on a different screen thumbnail to select the shot from those different lenses that you want to use in real time which sounds amazing. We know that Apple's iOS app from Filmic Pro showed off something similar but the app with this latest version still isn't available so Samsung's would be different where it would be a native app on the phone and not a third party one. Now the S20 Plus size will fall somewhere right in between the S20 and the S20 Ultra according to reports. We know screen sizes of 6.4 inches, 6.7 inches, and 6.9 inches. There is rumor to be an S20e at the very entry level with a 6.2 inch display. And you know what, let's talk about the display. Wineback reports the S20 Plus will use the same ultrasonic fingerprint scanner as the S10 and Note 10 across all models. It will bring a 3200 by 1440 resolution, which is a 20 by 9 screen ratio on all S20 phones for their 5G and LTE flavor. So the resolution will match that no matter which size of phone that you use. And on top of that, you know what we love here, a 120 hertz refresh rate coming to the S20. You know that I love this. I know many people have never even seen or experienced it, but once you see how buttery smooth it is, it's honestly pretty hard to go back. Now you'll only be able to use 120 hertz while the display is set to full HD+, where the phone is basically rendering everything in 1080p instead of 1440p. 
Now, Wineback also reports there will be five models of the S20 family with their 5G variants, but look at that name on the bottom. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Come on, Samsung. Let's just add Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition to the mix while we're at it. I mean, you're, you're there halfway. But according to Wineback, the S20 Ultra 5G, really the biggest of the family, with its 6.9-inch display, will keep the SD card slot with support for up to one terabyte of storage. It'll be available in 128, 256, and 512 gig storage capacities with a 12 gig and 16 gig RAM option, although the leak model they have that was pictured shows only 11 gigs of RAM. It has a 5,000 milliampere hour battery with a 45 watt fast charge option that can get you 100% a full charge of this phone within 74 minutes. Sheesh. Now we are expected to use the Snapdragon 865 with the X55 modem in the US with support for both flavors of 5G connectivity. So look, I threw all this out at you. If you're watching this and you aren't excited for tech in 2020, then I just can't help you because those specs alone are just damn impressive and will absolutely really kind of like set this benchmark for flagship phones to beat in 2020. And again, huge props and credit go out to Max Weinbach and the XDA developers team for getting all this info out to us about the Galaxy S20+. Plus. Also, we haven't even dug into the rumored Galaxy Z Flip foldable phone that we could also see at Unpacked as well. I mean, look at that thing. Like, how pretty is that? Because I don't know about you, I don't know how you feel, but foldables excite me. Plus, we're less than a month away from Samsung's Unpacked event on February the 11th in San Francisco, and if there's any indication from these leaks, it's gonna be a crazy show. So now, I ask you again, are you getting hyped for the S20, or are you so deep into Apple's ecosystem or another phone that you don't even care? We all love tech here, but let me know in the comments because, yeah, I read them. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell to get all my videos when they drop. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.